Hello there guys and girls, welcome to another quick tip. This time we will talk about the letterbox. Even if you don't know what this word means, you've definitely seen it. I'm talking about the black bars at the top and bottom of a video which crop your image as if you were watching through the slit of a letterbox, hence the name. These bars will create a more cinematic movie format, so instead of the 16x9 screen, you will have an aspect ratio of 2.35x1 or one of the many other ratios there are. This is something I missed out on for a long time, which is why most of my early videos are shot in regular 16x9. This is the ratio most TVs and other devices use, however in cinemas or on Blu-rays you will very often see 2.39 by 1, which is the ratio I'm using currently. Now normally you would have to do the math yourself to calculate how big the black bars would have to be, but there is this great website that offers a collection of 352 templates for letterboxing. You can download them for free. The file is only 16 megabytes in size, but if you extract it, it will be nearly 12 gigabytes. So make sure to extract its contents to a location with enough available space. In there you will find these templates for multiple screen resolutions. Just pick the ones you will be working with. For instance, I'm working in 1080p and 4K. And then I've decided to use the 2.39 by 1 as a ratio for my machinima. So I copied these and deleted the rest. If you want to fake an old-timey TV show with GTA 5, you could use the 133 silent film ratio. There are different versions of the 4K letterboxes though. YouTube uses 3840 by 2160 as a resolution, so you have to use the letterboxes from the folder that has UHD attached to it. Anyway, I've put the most useful letterboxes into a download archive for you to download, which should be enough for most of your projects. This way you won't have to extract the huge archive and go through all the files in there. These templates are simple PNG files with transparency, so you won't have to install them and they work with any video editor out there. Just import the file and put it on an individual track in your timeline. It needs to be on top of your footage, of course. I recommend that you lock this track so this layer won't get in the way during editing. And that's about it for this quick tip. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Manova. Over.